In this video, I'm going to go over my drone gear. I'm going to do that in a couple of different waves or stages. First, I'm going to show you the gear that I take with me that I put in my backpack when I go hiking. And then I'll show you some other gear like the chargers and uh, some accessories that I've used in the past and don't use as much now, but were helpful when I was just first starting out and first learning how to, how to fly the drone. Uh, but first, let's start off with this. This is a one gallon Ziploc bag. And in it is everything that I that I use uh, when I go hiking and, and when I take the drone hiking with me. Let's open up the bag and I'll show you what I use. And actually right at the start here I want to show you this little accessory. This is a kind of a portable landing pad and I don't use this a ton. I used to use it a lot when I was first starting out and just figuring, figuring out how to, how to fly the thing safely. Um, I do use it occasionally on snow. It makes a nice landing and takeoff area on the snow. But for now, for this video, I'm going to take it out so I can uh, put my other gear on top of it so I can show it to you. All right, we've got our landing pad thing all set up. Let's take out everything that I keep in this bag. Here we have the drone itself. This is the DJI Mavic Air. We've got two spare batteries. And these batteries are just in these little like kind of sleeve envelope things that I made just to protect the contacts on the battery to make sure they don't get messed up. This is the controller. This is a bag with some uh, important accessories. Let's start off with the drone and uh, the case that I have with the drone. So again, here's the drone itself. Very small, very compact, relatively lightweight. DJI Mavic Air, and I carry it in this hard shell case. And links to all of these things that I have will be in the description. Great little case, uh, protects the drone well. And for storing the drone when the drone is in here, uh, I do keep a battery in it. I have three batteries and I have each one labeled. This is a great little drone. Batteries go in and come out easily and uh, it has a little cover on the lens that comes with it protects the camera and the gimbal and folds up pretty quickly and easily it's very compact and it fits nicely in its little case batteries again not too much to say about these although I do have them labeled there's the number one Try to keep all three of them charged when I go out for a hike. I keep the controller in this little padded bag that I made. I'm sure you can buy something similar. This is the controller. And it has these little joystick knob controller things that screw in. fly the drone with those and then you put your phone down here. Now the phone thing is kind of interesting. So I'm an Android user. I have a, a Moto G5 Plus that I use as my regular phone and that phone worked for several months with, uh, with flying the drone and then it just kind of stopped working. There must have been a software update of some sort. Couldn't figure out why my drone wasn't working and uh, so I eventually figured out that it was the, the phone issue. So I actually bought a new phone to use just for the drone. And I keep the phone in this little uh, lock sack, this little waterproof. It's like a heavy duty waterproof Ziploc bag. Uh, this is a, Galax a Samsung Galaxy S6, I believe. Might be an S7, one of those. And really I only use this for flying the drone. So it stays with the drone stuff. I make sure it's charged. I take it out of the case and it just kind of slots right in here and then you plug into the bottom. And I've also used my wife's iPhone with this. Works great, you know, it doesn't really matter um, whether you have iOS or Android. The important thing is that you have a phone that is supported. Whatever drone you're interested in getting, look up what, what phones are compatible with it and make sure you have one of those. So also in this little heavy duty Ziploc bag are spare rotor blades. Um, one time I did crack one of the, the rotor blades and so 
Uh, it is nice to have a handful of spares. And I also have spare little joystick knobs. And so that's everything. Um, that's all you need to fly. Again, usually I don't use, <laughs> use this thing. I'm using that just to put my gear uh, on. But when I do launch the drone, I do like to have it on a flat surface. If I can find a nice flat rock, great. Uh, if not, and if I don't have this with me, I actually use my backpack. This is the backpack I usually hike with. And when I clear the, the straps away, this surface right here is actually large enough to launch the drone from. And here's the drone uh, ready to be launched just on top of the backpack. Uh, I can actually also launch it from the little hard-sided case, just like this, and it works well too. I use my drone a lot in, um, in dusty and or rocky places that where it's not super easy to land the thing. And so for taking off, I can use my backpack or the case like I just showed you. But for landing, I usually just grab it out of the air, which is a little bit nerve wracking. And uh, you know, I have cut a couple, my fingers a couple of times when I'm trying to grab it and missing a little bit. But uh, I found that it's just the easiest and fastest way to get the, dr the drone back uh, out of the air. Oh, and one other thing is um, this neck lanyard thing is an aftermarket accessory that I have found to be super useful. It's just a little piece of plastic that kind of snaps on to the bottom side of the controller. And then it goes around the neck like this, and I found this very helpful for, uh, for hands-free flying. So the drone is fine just hovering there, uh, or you can set it to do pre-programmed flights. So I can set it to like do a circle around me, um, to fly in a circle around me, but stay focused on me. And this is helpful for um, if it's doing that, if it's either hovering or doing a pre-programmed thing, and I'm walking or I'm doing something else. Uh, I don't have to have my hands on the controls all the time. And uh, again, this is like, I don't know, $10 on Amazon or something like that. And so again, here's everything all packed up, all my main gear. Easily fits into the backpack. It weighs, I weighed this, this bag this morning, it weighs three pounds and 2.5 ounces or something like, like that. So three pounds, two ounces. Uh, not super lightweight. If I wanted to go super light, then uh, I would just have maybe one battery and uh, you know, only take the the one phone with me on the on the hike. And you now there are ways to get the the weight down, but if I'm going for a day hike, then this is this is a manageable amount. So that's the main gear that I use every time I fly the drone. I'll now show you some other accessories and other items I have that I don't use all the time, but are nice to have. And I already showed you the the landing pad thing, um, which is handy. This is the second thing. This is a, uh, a bag made specifically for this drone, made by DJI. If I'm out for the day with the drone uh, in my car or something like that, then I'll put everything in here. Everything that you see in this bag can fit in here. Uh, and this is just a little bit nicer to have. So if I'm like in a park or something like that and I want to fly the drone, I'll put it in here. So uh, the drone goes on top here, the controller goes on the left side in that pocket, and then the batteries could go underneath, and then some other accessories can go back in there. And there's a pocket on this side, and then a big kind of expandable pocket on the outside that has a zipper opening that's hard to do one-handed. So I'm not gonna try, but there's another pocket right there. Next up are the chargers for the drone batteries. This is a 12 volt one to stick into your car, and it can charge two batteries at once. And this is a, a wall charger and it can hold, or can charge rather, four, four batteries at once. I only have three and it can do all three. I've got these things, these protect the propellers, the rotor blades. And I don't use these a ton anymore, but I did use them quite a bit when I was first starting out. Uh, it was good to have these to just basically help my confidence when I was first flying the drone. It's an expensive piece of gear, and um, flying it with, with these helped, uh, helped ease some of the, the pain of flying it, at it during those first handful of flights. In the same vein are these things. These are basically little feet that attach to the bottom of the drone that uh, they keep it up off the ground another inch or so, another inch or two. And so if you're flying on gravel or grass, 
can help keep the drone above those things and uh, help protect the, the gimbal and the, the, and the camera lens from getting scratched or getting dirty. Again, I don't use these very often anymore, but they were helpful to have when I was first starting out. And finally, I have these little filters, and to be honest, I have not used these very much. Um, I would like to, to see what difference they make to the, to the footage. Um, I still need to play with these more and, and investigate more, but I do have them, and so I wanted to show them to you. And that's basically it as far as the drone gear goes. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I have some other little things that I don't really use as much. Got some cleaning specific items, but you know you can just look for those on Amazon. This video is basically just to show you what I use and how I use it. Like I said, ask me if you have any questions. And I guess now I'll just, uh, I guess I might as well fly the drone as long as I'm here. So enjoy the drone footage and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and I also wanted to say uh, thanks to my in-laws for getting us this drone. This was a wedding present to us, and without them, uh, I w certainly wouldn't have this drone. So, so thanks again, guys, for the great gift.